Yeah, welcome back to another uh, beautiful presentation on uh, time domain specifications. And we are uh, seeing that uh, steady state error for different types uh, of the systems. <clears throat> so today we will start lecture number 41. It is a lecture number 41 in which we will see today for so what are the what, what is the steady state error what is the steady state error with the ramp input signal for different type numbers of the system so in the previous uh, presentation we have seen that for a unit step input for in step input what is the steady state error for different types of systems okay so let us see today today we will see for the ramp input so the input is as we have let us recall the definition of steady state error so the steady state error okay steady state error is denoted by e suffix ss and that is given as what is this limit s tends to 0 this is s into e of s clear s into e of s further this can be written as your e s s is equal to limit s tends to 0 it is s into what is e of s e of s is nothing but r of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s always we must remember this expressions basically this is a expression related subject actually so you need to remember all these expressions okay this is the definition of a steady state error general definition where what is r of s here the r of s is the input now let us consider the unit ramp input let us consider let us consider unit ramp unit ramp input signal input signal let us consider unit ramp input signal and for this for this signal what is the steady state error that we know already what is the steady state error for unit step what is the definition of unit step unit step is nothing but your r of t basically it is denoted by r of t r of t is equal to unit ramp it is t for t is greater than or equal to 0 and it is 0 for t is less than 0 this already we have seen in earlier class this is the definition of your r of t so for the unit ramp input what is your uh, steady state error i think it is already well explained in uh, previous uh, presentations better you refer that because uh, uh, this will be <coughs> So, the steady state error for ramp input, ESS for ramp input, I can write like this also, suffix ESS ramp input is equal to, what is actually? <clears throat> it is 1 by 1 plus, it is KV, this is the form actually, 1 by 1, 1 by KV basically, what is KV? kv is velocity error constant here kv is equal to it is velocity error constant basically velocity error constant and what is the value of it so kv is nothing but it is nothing but limit s tends to 0 limit s tends to 0 what you will get normally <clears throat> it is something s is, uh, i think s into g of s into h of s clear s into g of s into h of s this is what your uh, i mean velocity error constant this is your velocity error constant limit s tends to 0 okay <clears throat> therefore therefore we know the definition of this we know the velocity error now now this error can be defined for type 0 system 
So now you write this definition of kV means velocity error constant for type 0 system. So already you know that what is type 0 system already that that is well explained in a previous presentation and as per that information just I want to go little bit forward okay for time being. So <clears throat> here your kV is given as limit s tends to 0 and s and normally the g of s into h of s is in the form of for type 0 system. For type 0 system you will have actually some constant k and in numerator you will have some s plus z1, s plus z2 and so on so forth by it is something s plus p1 into s plus p2 and s plus into s plus p3 and so on so forth. You can write any number of. So means that what? So for type 0 system, for type 0 system, what is the form of g of s is h of s? How it should be for type 0? Normally, I already explained you clearly in the last presentation. Type 0, type, type of the system is nothing but if you have some s power n in the denominator, then only you can able to mention the type of system okay otherwise if there is no s power n normally if there is no n coefficient here then it is a type 0 system basically it is a type 0 because s power n obviously will be there but your n equal to 0 here this n defines this n decides the type of the system therefore here if n equal to 0 then s power 0 s power 0 is nothing but 1 therefore obviously s power <coughs> fact is there but as n equal to 0 you do not have that not required to represent that therefore it is why that is why it is called type 0 system therefore here so this is a constant again furtherly this can be written as s plus z1 nothing but all these are the 0 values all these are the 0 values <coughs> so this is equal to further limit s tends to 0 s into s into so this can be further written as some z1 into z2 into z3 and so on and so forth means this is the 0 with respect to this particular factor and this is the z2 with respect to the second factor z3 is with respect to another factor like that similarly in, in denominator we will have p1 p2 p3 and so on and so forth like that and so on and so forth but remember that all these are constants only all these are the constants only is it not now if you apply the limitation s tends to 0 here then s into means in s place you write the 0 then 0 into something 0 then your kv value is 0 so for type 0 system for type 0 system your velocity error constant is 0 your velocity error constant is 0 then substitute this particular kv value in the definition of steady state error of this I mean uh, unit ramp input signal. This is nothing but your k by v basically. So what is kv value? It is 0 then. 1 by 0. 1 by 0 is what? It is infinite. It is infinite. Therefore, for type 0 system, for type 0 system, if the input is unit ramp, with the input unit ramp, for the type 0 system, that steady state value is infinite. The steady state value is infinite. Now, this is what for type 0 system. This is for type 0 system. Similarly, you write for the type 1 system. Type 1 system. So, if you write for type 1, so for type 1 system, you write type 1. It is nothing but everything is same. Only thing is you will have s power 1 actually. You will have s power 1. s power 1 is nothing but s only and you will have s only here. Therefore, if you have S, again this S, this S means will be cancelled out and again this will be, can, no, there is no S factor not required to mention here because already cancelled out here, no, nothing not required to represent again in this. Therefore, now again it is, again it is, uh, now tell me both S, there is no S values in numerator, denominator, there is no S factors. Therefore, completely Z1, Z2, Z3 are constants and again K is a constant and in denominator also constant, everything is constant as there is no S, S in this uh, total 
uh, I mean quantity as there is no s value therefore it is a constant actually. Limitation of some constant is a constant only therefore what is that your kv value is a constant basically your kv value is constant it is not it is constant your kv value is constant okay then that constant you that constant you substitute here in kv place so constant is nothing but it is a constant actually one itself is a constant by something constant constant by constant it is a constant therefore therefore it is a constant now it is a constant therefore it means that for type 1 system for type 1 system with the unit ramp input for the type 1 system your steady state value is constant value you will have a constant steady state value that is the meaning of it you, you have the steady state constant value clear now coming to the type 2 system coming to the type 2 system it is type 2 then okay so for type 2 you have s square that's all in a denominator you will have s square clear you have s square then then so here 1s as well as 1s will be cancelled out in denominator you will have 1s actually the remaining part everything is same if you apply the limitation as limit s tends to 0 then uh, you apply 0 here then 0 into something everything will be 0 something by 0 something by 0 what is that something by 0 is infinite something by 0 is infinite therefore your kv value becomes what it is infinite your kv is infinite now substitute this kv value substitute kv is equal to infinite means kv value is infinite you substitute that value here means that you substitute infinite 1 by infinite equal to how much 0 1 by infinity is 0 following 1 by infinity is 0 so what you can conclude how we can conclude here means that for type 2 system with the unit ramp input okay for type 2 system the steady state value is 0 the steady state value is 0 and even you say now go for type 3 system for type 3 system type 3 means you will have what is that s cube so here you will have s cube type 3 means s cube n value is 3 again as for the formula you have s in numerator s cube is there so 1s and 1s will be cancelled out so you will have it s square then again for type 3 again if you substitute s value here then again in s place you substitute 0 0 into something 0 and something by 0 again something by 0 is infinite and that means your kv value is infinite again for type 3 system and substitute this kv value as infinite in this formula ess formula 1 by 1 0 means what from from this you can conclude that from type 2 onwards type 2 type 3 type 4 and type 5 and so on and so forth you go go on increasing if you increase the order of the system you will have your uh, zero your steady state value is zero understood your steady state value is zero that is what that is what the steady state error values for a different i mean for a unit ramp input with different type numbers clear now we will see the third one unit parabolic input so if the input is unit parabolic input for that unit parabolic input okay with different type numbers what will be the what could be the i mean steady state yeah that's we will see so now your input is unit uh, uh, i mean parabolic so for unit parabolic input unit parabolic for unit parabolic input uh, what is unit parabolic unit parabolic is again represented by your r of t r of t is equal to it is t square by 2 basically this is defined as for t is greater than or equal to 0 and it is 0 for t is less than 0 this is the definition of unit parabolic this is the definition of unit parabolic so in unit parabolic system what is your steady state value steady state value is nothing but it is again similar to your previous one this is the formula for steady state error you can please go through previous presentations i mean lecture number some 39 <clears throat> you, you it is very clearly it is explained there 39 and then 40 okay so the ESS is equal to 1 by Ka. The steady state error for unit parabolic input 
is 1 by k a where k a is equal to what is k a it is acceleration error constant it is given as something limit s tends to 0 here something you will have s square s square into g of s into h of s that's all that is your k a k a value is this much and okay then what actually we are doing in this k a we are substituting what is the form of g of s into h of s with different type numbers of the system for a different type numbers means type 0 type 1 type 2 type 3 for all these type of system what is the how the form will be what is the form of g of s and h of s that form we are mentioning here we are writing here and further we are simplifying and we are, we are obtaining some value of k a and that value you have to substitute here and from there you conclude what is ess value that's it now this implies say for example in this k a for type 0 system consider type 0 system so for type 0 system your k a becomes how k a is equal to limit s tends to 0 clear s square is as per formula you have to use s square as per the formula your g of s into h of s is same as your constant will be there and uh, directly i will write then no problem z1 z2 not required all the time to write all that because it is already well explained uh, so it is p1 p2 and p3 and so on and so forth like that this is type 0 because you should not have any s in denominator that's it you don't have any s value here then that is called type 0 system now in this substitute limitations apply s equal to 0 in the overall s square is there therefore s value 0 you substitute here 0 square it is 0 0 into something 0 therefore for type 0 your k a value is 0 for type 0 your k a value is 0 now you substitute this k a value here here you substitute then what we will have actually your k a is equal to what i mean ess is equal to what so you will have what is your ess ess is equal to ess is equal to 1 by what is k a value 0 what is 1 by 0 infinite this is what therefore for type 0 system for type 0 system with the unit of unit parabolic you will have infinite steady state error so if these values are very very important you can expect in a gate as well as upsc examinations in object to type questions normally you will get this right so now this is for type 0 similarly for type 1 system i will substitute it here only for type 1 system what you will have everything will be same here only you will have in denominator you will have one s for type 1 no you will have s power 1 s power 1 nothing but s only then again one s one s will be cancelled out you will have one s here again s into this everything will be there substitute s equal to 0 so 0 into something again 0 k value again 0 for type 1 and substitute this value again here therefore therefore 1 by again for type <coughs> 1 your ess again it is 1 by 0 only it is infinite again it is infinite only <coughs> for type 1 system for type 1 system also it is infinite clear now what what will be the value for type 2 for type 2 system so for type 2 system for type 2 what you will have in denominator you have s square term actually s square therefore in the formula you have s square in the so now for type 2 you have this s square here then this s square this both will be cancelled out and now your constant remains this is total constant now if you apply this limitation s is equal to 0 as there is no s value here therefore as it is your answer is constant only constant only means your k value is not 0 now it is a constant it is a constant now k value is constant now therefore k value constant you substitute this constant value here therefore if you substitute here in k value it is 1 by constant 1 by constant already 1 is a constant 1 is in a constant constant by constant it is a constant therefore therefore your ess value is constant therefore your ess value is constant for type 2 system type 2 system similarly type 3 let us consider type 3 now so if you consider type 3 it is type 3 system now you have here s power 3 in the denominator then it is s square it is s cube then s square s square will be cancelled out then you will have one s term here in the denominator you will have one s term and this s square will be 
okay there is uh, it will be not there and only you will have uh, i mean it is s cube s means you you have s square there no s square no it is s square s square so yes only because it here it is a s square na no? s cube therefore one s will be there so again if you substitute s equal to zero value then zero one by zero one by zero is infinite one by zero is infinite therefore you have infinite here therefore k value is infinite here so substitute that infinite value in this formula one by infinite is what what is one by infinite okay one by k a in this k a substitute infinite this is equal to infinite one by zero therefore for <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry so for type three system what is the steady state error it is zero for the type three system the steady state error with the unit parabolic is steady state error is zero and similarly right for type four system for type four what is type four means you have s power four here already formula s square will be there now it is s power four therefore s square this s square will be cancelled out and uh, you have in the denominator s square will be there here this is s square you will have so therefore again if you substitute s value zero this everything will be zero one by zero again infinite again infinite and one by infinity is zero therefore therefore what you can conclude here how you can conclude here for type 3 onwards for type 3 onwards so your steady state error value is zero for unit ramp input signal so so this means that what we have seen so uh, with the unit para unit ramp we have seen the steady state error for different type systems as well as with the unit parabolic input also we have seen the steady state error for the different type numbers of systems okay so please uh, uh, you uh, you practice it and from from this uh, definitely you will expect questions okay so normally they will ask so what is the steady state error for type 0 system when the input is unit step what is the steady state error for type 2 system when the input is unit parabolic system unit parabolic input like that it, it will be asked in examination then you must remember all this and so it is possible with practice only therefore please practice and definitely you will be remembered and you will score the marks clear so thank you thank you one and all with this so i conclude uh, uh, this presentation and we will see you in the next subsequent presentation thank you thank you one and all